Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, we're going to be doing some card making. So if you're interested in seeing that, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be doing four simple cards using this Seal It With A Kiss Deco set from Tula 12. As many of you know, I do have an Etsy shop, which is linked in the description below. And in that shop, I like to send personalized thank you cards. So I'm going to be making some of those today using this kit because I just received it in the mail and I think it is absolutely gorgeous and it'll be perfect for the upcoming month, which is February. So four of my customers will be receiving a card made with this kit. Um, I'll probably send these out in the late January, beginning of February um, orders. So four mystery people will be getting those. Um, so anyway, I also have the link for Tula listed below as well. So if you're interested in purchasing this deco set or one of the other deco sets, you are able to do that. So first I'm going to show you what is inside here. And the one thing I love about the deco sets from Tula is it pretty much has everything that you need to make either cards or dashboards or um, you know whatever else your heart desires basically. Um, Everything is just kind of in this package. So in here you get um, six eight and a half by 11 papers that are both double-sided. So you have this beautiful heart pattern here. And then on the back you have love. Then you have another one with this XOXO. And then these super cute baskets here. Then you have this pattern. And I love the candy. I think that is so cute. And then you get, like I said, six sheets. So these are the same as the other ones. And then you also get two sheets of white cardstock. And then this particular set comes with two journaling cards, which are very cute. And then you get seven die cuts. I love the panda. Little mailbox. The penguins are precious. Some hearts. And then you get four cardstock strips and of course your four envelopes if you're using these four cards so and again a lot of people use um these packs for cards or they'll make like dashboards for planners um but you can if you're into scrapbooking you could use it for that so literally the possibilities are endless for this kit um, I also, because I like to do a lot of layering, I did pull out another piece of white cardstock just in case I want to do some layering. And then I have a piece of brown and then this craft, which I'm hoping is going to kind of mimic the gold. That's um, some of the little gold detailing in there a little bit. I figure that's about as close as I can get because I don't have any gold paper left. So, um, but this extra paper is optional. You do not have to use any additional paper. And then I also, per well, I didn't even purchase these. This was one of those Facebook ads for scrapbook.com. This particular set of stamps was actually free. All I had to do was pay for shipping. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm going to just be using the thanks because once again, these are cards that I will be sending to customers. Um, I used to be a rep for Stampin' Up! So a lot of the products I'm going to be using are from there starting with this archival ink pad i absolutely love it i think it has a good color and um 
you know, I'm never really disappointed with the quality of their ink. I also have one of the clear acrylic blocks that I'll be using from Stampin' Up! And this was where I'll put the stamp at. I have my adhesive runner. I have some glue dots. These I actually picked up from Dollar Tree. Um, I think I might have showcased these in one of my hauls, but if not, I did definitely get these from Dollar Tree. And then I have my favorite Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. And what makes this my favorite is the fact that on, for a card maker especially, the line for five and a half is always visible. I know some of the cutters, the line for five and a half is in this little crack, which makes it kind of hard to see. So I appreciated that they extended this out a little bit so that you can see that five and a half line. And you know, I just noticed I never took the plastic off of this, which is hilarious because I've had it for quite some time. <laughs> So anyway, I am going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I like to do is going to be cut my paper. So for this one, I'm going to cut it in half to five and a half. Oh, the other cool thing about this cutter is that it has a stamp, I mean a cutting blade and a scoring blade. So this one is the scoring blade. I'll move that out the way for now. And then the darker one is the cutting. So I cut that in half. So which would be five and a half inches because it's eight and a half by 11 paper. And then I'm going to take this and score it at four and a quarter. Would be half. All right, so there is that. These will be my card bases. All right, and then for this first card, I think I will use. I'm going to use this paper and I know that this one is four and a half the base is four I'm sorry four and a quarter wide so I'm going to cut this paper four and a quarter and then I'm going to cut it down to and a half. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way for now. Okay, so for this particular sheet, I want to kind of round the edge. So I'm going to flip it. Um, you know what? No, I'm just going to eyeball it because... That's my business. All right. Oops. Sorry, I forgot to pull scissors out. So I'm gonna just take this and go from the corner and just kind of round it from corner to the corner. Yes, that works. And then I will adhere. that cute 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 and then I am going to take a piece of this cardstock here and I'm gonna cut it um it's four and a quarter wide three inches no. I'll do two and a half inches Ooh. 
Oops. Covers up too much of my loop. So we're going to go with two inches. There, yes, I like that. All right. And then... Okay, you know what? Let me pause and go get my other tape runner. One moment, please. Okay, I have no idea where it is, but we're going to try this one instead. That big one is nice, but some it's very um, finicky. I feel like sometimes, oops, got my desk. Oh, well. Sometimes it works really, really well, and then other times it's just it's too much. So, that this video is not six hours long we'll just move on all right and i just made a rookie mistake um and i'm going to tell you why i just realized that what i typically never ever 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 do <laughs> is adhere my paper that i'm going to be stamping on until after i stamp it because you never know if you accidentally do a poor stamp um, now I'm just kind of stuck with it. Whereas if I would have stamped first, then I could have adhered it to the paper. Cause if you mess up, then you can obviously use the other side. So don't be like me stamp first and then stick. Another thing is when I'm stamping, I like to, um, leave the stamp down and place the block on top. I feel like it just gives you a better look at everything and then also you can make sure you don't have a bunch of ink on the around the edges so you're not smearing it all right and then let me just put this here normally i would stamp on a piece of foam ah for that reason <laughs> we're gonna see if i can line that up again Actually, what I should have done was stamp this on something first and then put it down. So this is going to be a little bit off, but actually, I kind of like that. <laughs> I feel like it gives it a little extra visual effect. And then while I was looking for my other tape runner, I did find these dimensionals, which I like. Um, I like to call them pop dots. But instead of your object that you're placing on being completely flat, it'll just kind of raise it a little bit. So I'm going to add, because this one has a heart, I'm going to add this other. Little heart on here. And just like that, we have a beautiful thank you card. Okay, and then for card number two, one is going to get cut let's cut this one at three let's do three and a half three and a half wide and then the same five and a half tall. So it looks like this. And this one I'm going to take and fold this. 
corner back. So you have like a little peekaboo effect. And we're gonna just adhere this down. start off by gluing it on this one side and then I'm gonna take this super cute penguin or penguin um not penguin panda bear On. And you know what? Let me add. Let me add a glue dot to him for good measure because he's kind of heavy. like he's peeking out of there so cute and I'm going to take one of these and I really want to cut out Okay, so let's do one by three. Just a little short. can see I did not make the same mistake twice And there you go. There's two. All right. And then for my next one, this card is going to go this way. And I'm going to use. Oh, 
I put black down first. So this will be four. This one's going to have quite a bit of layering. Again, these steps are optional. You could totally just stick a piece of um, just some of the paper that came in the kit here instead of doing this matte part. I just like my cards to be a little heavier and have a little bit more, um, you know, pops of color in there. And then I think I'm going to use this little basket one. So let's cut this three and a half, no, three and three quarters. And you have to be careful with paper that has a pattern. All right, so three and three quarters, and you know what? I don't really like. Maybe I use the pink side. I don't really like that black on top of that black. Mm. You know what? Nope, it'll be fine. All right, so three and three quarters, and then I made this four. So let's do another three and three quarters. I think that'll be right. Yep, it's perfect. Okay, yep, we're gonna just kind of leave the black on black. That's okay. There's another one. And then for my last card, I'm going to do another tall one. And I'm going to use the heart paper this time. So I'm going to make this one four and a quarter, no, four. Five, five and a quarter. Okay. 
fact, we're going to use a piece of the craft paper. This one is three inches. So I'm going to make oops, three inches. Just do a three by three, no, three by four. Nope. Mm -mm. We're going to do a square. Three by three square. And then I'm going to cut this one down. Now let's do three by three and a half. Three by three and a half. So then I'll cut this little piece down here to two and three quarters. By three and a quarter. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit more layering. Take one more strip of white, and it was one inch. I don't remember, but I'm gonna do three inches. <laughs> I think that's close enough, one by three. I'm gonna stamp thank you on it. on here in case it's still a little wet this poor table has been through some stuff mm, mm, mm. all right and there we go four cards done all right so we are finished thank you so much for sticking in here with me here's another quick look at four cards there's one here's our other one i love the panda i still think that one's my favorite <laughs> and then our very first one i hope you enjoyed this video if you have not already done so please be sure to like this video give it a thumbs up and check the description box below for my Facebook group because I am going to be giving away one of the beautiful deco kits but it will only be exclusive to my Facebook group members so if you are interested in receiving this um, beautiful product so you can make similar cards to the one I made at home please be sure to check in the description box for the Facebook group and join it so that you can be a part of the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.